What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. The Festival of Colors event details have officially been revealed. We're going to go through them right now. Timestamps below as always. So the Festival of Colors event is going to be running from March 15th, 10 a.m. to March 20th, 8 p.m. all local time. Bonuses during the event. Lure modules will be lasting three hours during the event and you will be able to take snapshots to be photobombed during the event for a surprise. It says the photobomb Pokemon can be shiny. We don't know what the Pokemon is exactly yet. So we'll have to stay tuned for that, but there is shiny potential from photobombs. New Pokemon during the event is going to be the Pokemon Oricorio, which is another Gen 7 Pokemon, of course, from the season of Alola. This Pokemon has four forms, which again are going to be region locked forms. You have the Bale style Oricorio, which is going to be Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Pom Pom style will be only available in Americas. Po style will be available in Africa, Asia, Pacific, and the Caribbean islands. And the Sensu style will be available in the Asia Pacific region. So those will be region locked. You can only get those certain styles in those areas. If you want to get the other styles, you're going to have to travel. There's going to be a collection challenge during the event, which I believe you're just going to have to catch a bunch of the wild spawns. This will reward you with a medal for your elite collector's medal, 20,000 XP, 3,000 Stardust, and an encounter with an Oricorio, the one that you would normally get in your region. So wherever you are, when you complete the collection challenge, that's the Oricorio you will get. Wild spawns during the event. If I put a shiny on screen, it means it will have a shiny potential during this upcoming event, and shiny race will be on screen as well. We will have Drowsy, Horsey, Gligar, Slugma, Halo, Trap Inch, Turtwig, Krogunk, Fletchling, and all four styles of the Oricorio. Spawning the wild, of course, depending on where you are, you'll only be able to get certain ones. And then rare wild spawns during the event will be Beautifly, Dustox, and Aloma Mola. Raised during the event, the one stars are going to be Jigglypuff, Torchic, Trico, Mudkip, and Rockruff. Three stars will be Marowak, Alolan Marowak, Chansey, Umbreon, and Drudigan. Five stars, of course, will be Therian form of Tornadus, and Mega Raids will be Mega Lopany. Finally, there'll be exclusive field research tasks you can get during the event and complete for special encounters. We don't know what the exact tasks are yet, but we don't know what the encounter rewards are. From Field Research Tasks, you can get Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, Alolan Grimer, Cast Form Normal, Sunny, Rainy, and Snowy, Plant Cloak Burmy, Sand Cloak, and Trash Cloak Burmy. Rarer tasks at Pokestops will get you an encounter with all forms of the Orcorio. Of course, they're still going to be region locked through the tasks. Finally, there's going to be exclusive Field Research Tasks to get you Mega Energy for Mega Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. Pretty good stuff there. Finally, there will be new avatar items I'm going to throw on screen. These are going to be completely free. You can get in the in-game shop. All about the colors. Thrown festival of colors. You know, get it, get in there. Um, you'll be able to claim those in the shop for free. So yeah, that's pretty much the Festival of Colors event. No new shiny, but we do have this new Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Again, I will make a tips video coming up to the event if you want to find out if this Pokemon is any good. Stay tuned for that, but that's pretty much the video, guys. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. We're going to see you all in the next one. Follow for this one. Peace. Subscribe.